We talk a lot about trying to be positive here on this very show. Mm -hmm. You've been talking about it for many, many years. Mm. And you really, truly believe you can absolutely change your life by mm. what goes on in your head and that positive, yeah. positive thought first thing in the morning almost. Yes, I mean, I think success and happiness are not sort of accidents that randomly happen to some people and not to others. I think that success and happiness are created by certain ways of thinking and certain ways of acting in the world. Mm. And we see this with high achievers, you know, whenever uh, there's studies done into high achievers, they have a particular success mindset. And I suppose, um, you know, I'm, I'm known for helping people to solve problems, lose weight, quit smoking, become more confident. But really the sort of the, the main emphasis of my work is to help people to have a more fulfilling, happy and rewarding life. Mm -hmm. But, but I would like to, there's... sorry, Stacey, go oh, on. Sorry, do you think there's any limits to that? Because sometimes, yes, I do think that you can get through things slightly better with a positive attitude, but I mm. fundamentally don't think you can change certain circumstances by being positive, or, mm. but do you think that you can change anything? Well, do you know, it's funny, the palm readers say, this hand is what you're born with and this is what you do with it. So say you're born with some oratory skills, you could be an Adolf Hitler or you could be uh, a, a Martin Luther King. So I, I believe that you're absolutely, absolutely right, some people are born with a really bad hand, but they are able to, turn it to their advantage. So I, I think that there's always hope and possibility that you can have a better life, yeah. But a fundamental question is this. Yeah. Do you believe that you can actually teach positivity? Mm. Because uh, two examples, a man I know who had cancer and, and thankfully got over it, and in the morning he would then come down and say, I love my life, oh my goodness, good morning everybody, right? Mm. That was his reaction to it. Mm. When I was small, my mum would say, and my mum was, you know, just a, an ordinary Irish housewife in that sense, but very special, yeah. and she would say to me, in all your life, never surround yourself with negative people, yes. because you'll be negative. Surround yourself with positive people all the time, yes. which I've never forgotten. Yes, I mean, it's a great piece of advice to you. Yes. Um, yes, misery loves company. And also, um, you know, I spent a lot of my time, uh, you know, working with people who are depressed or, you know, very down or suffering from post-traumatic stress more recently. And I find that if, if I'm not careful, I can get pulled down as well. So I try and keep myself in a good space so I'm able to help them. How, how, what is this? I often hear this line in, in Psychobabble and good counselling, everything, we are not our thoughts. Mm -hmm. What does that actually mean? Do you because, know, I, I don't know, I haven't oh, heard that before. No, but, no, because I often hear it around positive thinking, mm -hmm. that we can get caught up with thinking that we're our thoughts and that, mm. we're, and that we're not. Oh, do, 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 yeah, do you... I think I know what you mean by that, yeah. which is that uh, people get labelled or they get an identity. They, right. they, they think I'm this kind of person mm. and or they tell themselves a story, you know, they become yes. a victim uh, rather than, you know, becoming a responsible sort of an owner. You know, for many years I thought, um, you know, I kept having the same sorts of relationships and the same sorts of problems and I kept saying, oh, well, you know, I just keep meeting the wrong kind of women and then suddenly I thought, hang on, the common denominator here is me. So maybe if I change me, I'll meet the right kind of person, and indeed I do. So that was your thoughts, you were believing that your thoughts is actually exactly right. what you are. I bought my own story, yeah. Yeah, bought your But own then story. Uh, we all know people, though, where the glass is totally empty. Yes. You know, and, and for whatever reason, I believe that I'm a positive person. Mm. And all my life, I think, maybe mm. it's my mum, and I've mm. been able to turn a bad scenario, mm. I get the good out of it, or I try to get the good out of it. Yes. Um, but it's a, it's a very interesting subject. So, I mean, mm. how do you find your audiences react? Well, do you know, um, people are benevolently sceptical. Um, with this uh, tour that I have coming up, uh, I'm going to do five live events across the, the country, London, Birmingham, Manchester, Edinburgh, and one in Dublin as well. Um, what I do is I walk out at the beginning of the evening and I say, right, who here uh, is held back by something in life. Who's, who's had something really terrible happen to them? You would have to tell me all about it, uh, but they think it blocks them and it stops them from moving on in life. And I ask somebody to come up um, on the stage. Can I just make one? Yeah. If someone's at your show, yeah. I would assume that they are already in a positive frame of mind because mm. they're already thinking, I'm going to go and see this person who is going to help me, mm. and they're subjective to that. What about people who are not ready to come along to your show and actually are in a really terrible, dark place in their life? Somebody like that who needs therapy, because the, 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 this show, is this event, is, is not a therapy event. It's an mm. educational change one. So somebody who's really troubled like that, uh, they should perhaps see a therapist. But if, say, you feel blocked because, you know, uh, something happened that made you feel really bad, um, I can help you in a few minutes to transform that. And then what I do is I turn to the audience and I do it with everybody. Mm. So it's like a mass hypnosis wow. session. So 
Well, this, you've got a podcast and it's a positivity mm. podcast. That's the whole foundation of it. Yes. And you, you've interviewed lots of sort of very successful people, Simon Cowell being one of them, yeah. who actually kind of inspired you, I think, to go yeah. ahead with the podcast. He did. He kind yes, of, he's right. sort of almost a mentor to you, I suppose. He is, yes, he's one of my mentors. You're very, um, very close. So uh, tell us a little bit about this podcast and what we as the listeners can get from it. OK, so um, I'm interviewing some of the world's most interesting people from different uh, walks of life. So um, Warwick Davis, mm. um, uh, Gary Lineker, uh, Paul Oakenfold. I just interviewed Nicholas Holt, the actor from that brilliant movie, The Favourite. Um, and, you know, uh, I, Karen Brady just agreed to do it. So I've got a very yes. interesting, eclectic selection of people. Um, and what I do is I ask them, how is it you do what you do? So it's not a journalistic interview. It's more of a sort of psychological deconstruction. Mm. Basically, I want to understand your success mindset. So without actually asking that question directly, but asking lots of other questions, suddenly you go, oh, I see how they see the world mm. or how they overcome overcome obstacles. You know, uh, Rob Brydon's had lots of fascinating stories about when he started as a comedian and some of it didn't go so well, how he then thought, right, I'll show him and keep going. Yes. You know, it's parallels in all of those people, you know, like, yes. that, like a common de denominator. Absolutely, yes. I mean, all of these people have either overcome adversity, mm. they had some self-belief, uh, they took a risk, you know, they moved outside their comfort zone. There are absolutely some, some parallels with all of yeah. them. Yeah. You know so, the sort of thing, about, sorry, just quickly, about yeah. icons, right? Mm. They just made... Like, Everybody interviewed about that particular subject all said oh. my parents were my yes. uh, inspiration. Absolutely. Does that apply to you? Oh, absolutely, yes. My, my parents uh, gave me so much more than I realised. and It was only later in life I realised that having come from a, very, um, from a very good family with good values, yeah. uh, my father's no longer with us, but my mother certainly is, and she's probably watching, so uh, hello, Mum. Hi, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> so... We said earlier on, mm. within one minute, you can potentially change mm. our own mindsets. Yeah. You've, you've got your 60 seconds, Paul. Tell okay. us what to do. All right, so we're going to do something called heart math. This is used by every division of the American military. And what it's uh, there to do is to build resilience. So if you're finding a little uh, under pressure, under stress, or even if you feel really OK, what I want you to do right now is put your hand on your heart here like this, yeah? That's right. Now, what I'd like you to do is to concentrate on your heart and I want you to remember a time you felt really really good. That's right. Return to that time like you're back there again now. See what you saw, hear what you heard, and feel the good feelings in your body. That's it. Make the colours richer, brighter, bolder. Make the sounds louder and the feelings stronger. And now, notice where the good feeling is strongest in your body. And imagine giving that feeling a colour. So if it's in your heart or your head, and whatever colour you feel like giving it, a blue or a gold or whatever, Move that colour up to the top of your head and then imagine moving it down to the tips of your toes and keep going through that memory of that good time, seeing what you saw, hearing what you heard, feeling how good you felt. That's right. And then take that good feeling and have it for the rest of the day. I'm red. <laughs> <laughs> Purple. Yeah. Purple's a good colour. Yeah. I'm always yellow or orange. Yeah? Yeah, I think I was a bit of an orange thing there. Feel good? Was yeah. this supposed to be like a colour thing? <laughs> <laughs> Did we make it that? <laughs> Do you all feel energised? <laughs> Do you feel positive? It's your voice. And to be fair, I think we probably maybe need longer than 60 seconds, but still, <laughs> yeah. we were asking you to do an awful lot there. Yeah. But it is, it's just that it's yes. changing the mind, it's jolting yourself into something that's that's positive right. throughout your day, isn't yes, it? Yes, absolutely. That is really it is. the basis. Yes. Very interesting.